Welcome to the Pro-Life Guy. In this episode, we're going to be asking the question, is opposition to abortion a religious issue? Whenever you're discussing the issue of abortion with a group of pro-choices, it normally doesn't take long before one of them raises the issue of religion and tries to suggest that your motivation for being opposed to abortion is actually religious in nature and that all you are trying to do is impose your religious beliefs on other people with your opposition to abortion. This argument is really quite ludicrous when you stop and examine what it is that the pro-life movement says about abortion and why it is opposed to abortion. The pro-life position goes a little bit like this. A fetus possesses exclusively human potentials, things like the potential for rational thought and free will, etc., that only human persons can possess. Therefore, a fetus is a human person. Therefore, deliberately destroying a fetus is a grave act of injustice because you are denying an innocent human person their fundamental right to life. As you can see, there is nothing remotely religious about that proposition. The argument doesn't go, abortion is wrong because God told us abortion is wrong. Or, abortion is wrong because the Bible told us abortion is wrong. If it did, then yes, this would be a case of someone trying to introduce a religious element to the debate. But in actual fact, when you look at most discussions about abortion, it's not the pro-lifers who try and introduce religion, but the pro-choices. And the way they introduce religion is to try and shut down the debate. It's usually an attempt, or a red herring that's introduced, to try and silence the very strong and compelling arguments for the personhood of the unborn and the grave injustice of abortion, which denies an innocent human person their fundamental human right, the right to life. The other important point to note is that there are now millions of pro-lifers all around the planet who are non-religious. According to the latest census data, in the United States alone there are now more than 6 million secular pro-lifers. That is people who are either atheist or agnostic, but who are committed to the pro-life ethic. Why is that? Well, because these people can clearly see that the arguments against abortion don't rest on merely religious reasoning, and they are very compelling and very strong. The philosophical and scientific evidence against abortion is very, very clear. And for these people, they can see that this is about human rights and social justice. And if we want to live in a truly just and humane society, then we should never endorse or support the killing of innocent human beings, no matter what their age or location happens to be. That's why you have groups such as Secular Pro-Life and Atheists for Life, which are cropping up all over the place and are now really thriving as a result. And one last important point to highlight about this whole ridiculous red herring, that abortion is nothing more than a religious issue. Just stop and think about other social justice issues for a second and you realize how crazy this proposition actually is. Just think about the fact that Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who was clearly a religious man, was a staunch opponent of apartheid. Does that mean being anti-apartheid is a religious issue? Or what about Martin Luther King, who was a Christian reverend? Does that mean that the civil rights movement is merely a religious issue? Or what about all the churches who oppose human trafficking? Does that mean that opposition to human trafficking is purely a religious issue? Or perhaps someone like William Wilberforce, who was a very committed religious person, yet he also staunchly opposed slavery. Does that mean being anti-slavery is merely a religious thing? Of course it doesn't. The more you think about it, the more ridiculous you realize this argument really is. This is nothing more than a not so subtle attempt to try and shut down and stifle the legitimate questions that need to be asked about the grave injustice that is abortion. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time on the Pro-Life Guy.